Well, hello there, my 107 megahertz of YouTube followers. Real quick video today. Um, this thing is was absolutely driving me crazy. It's an Adcom GTP 400. Um, the tuner or uh, the preamp section worked fine. The tuner section not so much. Um, yeah, so everything runs on the the tuner. Jackson, don't you ever ask for any work until it doesn't, and then it just cuts out. Um, you lose your signal strength. You ever just get static. Blah blah blah. So very intermittent problem. Very frustrating. Had this thing on the bench for a couple days. It would work fine for a whole day, then not for another day, and it would go from working to not working. Starting with the oscilloscope, I started probing these these various test points here and here, and there was a strong uh, audio signal and carrier signal present here when the thing was working, but not when it wasn't working. And based on some other measurements I took up here closer to the variable capacitor rig, I uh, discovered that you know it was probably something inside the variable capacitor. So after unsoldering this lid, I started poking around on things until I got to this uh, little trimmer cap, this little blue one here, blue and uh, silver one right here behind this coil, and it's kind of all drowned in wax that's melted all over the place. Anyway, I started poking on that, and the tuner would cut in, cut out, cut in, cut out, and I uh, got underneath there and reflowed the solder joint on it, and now the tuner is working fine, and I can't make it cut in and cut out by poking on, at this anymore. After doing some Google searches, I discovered that this is a common, very common problem with this with with Adcom tuners of this era. Um, a lot of people wind up replacing that trimmer cap, so I don't know. Um, reflowing the solder seems to have worked for now, but if that doesn't if that doesn't hold up in the long run, it's going to be uh, replacing this trimmer cap here and then realigning the tuner. Anyway, if you run into that uh, no FM on one of these Adcoms. Uh, try that also be aware that the, the mute is kind of works the opposite of the way you would think it would work and so uh you you, you can be you can have muting on and not realize it um another thing i'm noticing is that the signal strength meter trimmer and the muting sensitivity adjustment trimmer both needed to be adjusted for this thing to be reasonably selective when scanning channels um or to not be too selective either uh when i this thing first came onto my bench, it was skipping right past a lot of strong signals, so I had to adjust that muting sensitivity. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Uh, if you have one of these uh, Adcom tuners for that era and the FM cuts out, you know, you got to desolder all four corners on this and then pry it up. So what I did was I got my soldering iron up to 900 degrees. I used solder braid to pull out the solder from all four corners and then uh, put a screwdriver here. I'll see if I can do this without shorting anything out. This, this tuner is running. Um, while heating, after I sucked all the solder out of the corners with the solder braid, then I put a screwdriver in there to pry and then went back and reheated the corners to get them loose again and then all the way around and it came right up no problem. So there you go, uh, Adcom GTP 400, classic Adcom FM tuner problem of this era, apparently. I probably could have saved myself a lot of time by checking Google first.